All right, at the top of the page. So in the box, it says a median of a triangle is a segment that starts. It starts at the vertex of a triangle. We have three vertices, A, B, and C. So there's three medians of a triangle, or three possible medians if you draw all three. And it ends at the midpoint of the opposite side. So take your writing utensil and mark on each side where you think the middle is. So for instance, CB, I must say the midpoint is probably about there. Okay, so using your straight edge, your median is drawn from the vertex to that midpoint. So you can connect. We're going to do all three. So I'm going to do the midpoint of AB next and then connect. And now the, I'm going to cheat a little bit. Because I'm not constructing or being precise with my diagram, they're all supposed to meet. Okay, so I'm going to see how well I did. So I want you to take your straight edge and draw a line through the intersection of the other two. And that looks to be pretty close. They should all meet at one point inside your triangle. So since these are all midpoints, I'm going to say this is congruent to this, this is congruent to this, and this segment is congruent to that segment. We need to put some letters on there. So these blanks are for the names. So let's say P, Q, and R. Oh, no, I'm sorry. Mrs. Stevens has names down here. So AP, okay. So AP, because P is going to be our centroid. So right here. And it talks about A, P, and P to Y in this box right here. So I'm going to label this endpoint Y. That's where I'm getting the letters from. So A to Y is one median. And then we're going to do C, X is one. And then last, B to Z. So you should have P at the point of intersection, and then Z, Y, and X. That point P where they meet is called a centroid. And there's a relationship between all the segments like there was with the mid-segment. Okay? When I look at each median, so I'm going to highlight one in orange. Let's look at A, Y. This point P splits that long segment into how many segments? And looking at one median, the median AY, P splits it into two segments. The longer one, AP, is twice as long as the shorter one. So if AP, well, say let's PY says 5, what would AP be if it's twice as long? 10. So AP is twice PY. Same goes for the other median. So let's highlight this in a lighter blue. So looking at this median, okay, C to P is going to be also double PX. The relationship doesn't change. So if this was 3, what would CP be? 6. Okay, and then the last one which is left in that darker blue um, BZ, so BP is also going to be twice PZ, the shorter one. So the longer segment is double the shorter. Okay? So let's look at question number one. Go ahead and look that over. Oh, I forgot one thing. Um, and I forgot just because with you guys it tends to be a bit more challenging. The centroid of the triangle is located two thirds the distance from each vertex. So rather than working with fractions, it's much easier to work with the longer and shorter with the longer being the double, okay? So in question number one, we have medians A, T, B, R, and C, S. So that means E is the centroid. So I'm going to draw a line and label that. It's telling me to start that A, E is 30. So I'm going to highlight that. 
if a to e, I need someone to raise their hand, if this is 30, what is et? Rima? Okay, et is half of ae. You don't need to put that if, but I'm going to note it. So that's not 30, it's 30 over 2, which is 15. Okay, so if ET is 15, then what's AT? Don't yell it out. So if this is 15, how do you go all the way across? From A to T, when you know the part, Janae, 45 you add. So AT equals 30 plus 15, which is 45. Good. The next one says RE. Is 16. That's the shorter one. So then what would be the longer segment B to E? Good, Tony. But well, let's raise our hand last time, right? So B to E is 32. So that's 2 times 16 as the relationship 32. So then the whole length from B all the way to R, sum of the parts equals the whole. So if we add 16 and 32, it equals, so 16 plus 32 is 48. Last part, if C to S, now that's the whole. C all the way to S is 12. How am I going to find the two segments that make up the whole? The whole is 12. I need two numbers where one is twice as large as the other. So if you don't have any part, we're going to set it up as x, because that's the unknown. We don't know what it is. And then this would be 2x. It's double. And from there, you would set up the equation when you're not given either part. So the work down below, it would be 12 equals x plus 2x. x is the one number, and then 2x is double. So adding like terms, 3x equals 12, dividing by 3 and x is 4. Who can name this segment with two letters, though? What segment is equal to 4? So e, um, ES is 4, because that's our x. And then C to E would be 2 times 4, which is 8. Start our homework. Number 1. So AE, let's mark it in the picture. AE is 2x plus 6. find AT. We're going to add to this question. We're going to add in terms of X. Because when it usually says find the length of something, you should be able to find a number. But we need more in this question to be able to do that. So we're going to give the answer in terms of X. Okay? So AE was the longer piece. ET should be how much of the longer? Half. So what's half of 2X? 1X. Half of 6? 3. Good. So we take half of it algebraically. Now if I need to find AT, which is the length of the whole segment, we need to add those expressions together. So we're going to add 2X plus 6. We're going to add that to x plus 3. It's not equal to anything. In terms of x means you're going to have an algebraic expression. So combining like terms, 2x and x is 3x, 6 and 3 is 9. And number 4, it says b to e is x plus 2. And e to r is x minus 4. Now we're going to find the value of x. Okay, so you have to pick a segment. I would also look at the larger one. So B to E, for instance, and it's good to write this out, that BE is twice the length of ER. The longer is twice the smaller, rather than working with one half. So now I'm going to replace BE with the X plus 2 equals 2 times ER, which is X minus 4. So go ahead and distribute.
and solve for x. Would I like to share their answer? Colton? I got 10. 10 is right. When you subtract the x, get x over here, add the 8 over, 10 is correct. Find x, we're done. In this next question, it doesn't have a picture, so we need to draw one. So start by drawing the given triangle ABC. So here's A, B, C. It says you have medians, so draw all your midpoints and then connect with your segments. What's that point in the center called again? Centroid. The centroid. We just drew all the medians and to actually we need to go back to that. It says we had median AS. So I got to follow A until the end is going to be an S. B down is T. And then it looked like actually we didn't need the third median because we're just looking at median AS and BT. And they're concurrent. That just means they meet at point P. So let's label this P. So A to P is 6X minus 10. And PS is X plus 1. Remember, the longer piece, AP, is twice the shorter. Now go ahead and substitute your expressions for AP and PS. To make that substitution, it says that AP is 6X minus 10 equals 2 times PS, X plus 1. So distribute. I'll look for an answer to the equation again. So 2X plus 2. And what is X equal is right. So last one. We have the picture, so that's very helpful. It says that G is the centroid. So we know if they tell us the centroid to start, we know that C to D, A to F, and B to E are medians. It says that CG is 3x plus 7. And then it says that CD, oh the whole, is 6x. So the person next to you, I want you to talk about how we're going to set this one up. It didn't give us the two parts of the median this time. It gave us the whole and one of the parts. So the length of GD is half of GC. So half of the 3x would be 1.5x. Half of 7 is 3.5. So we have to write the expression in terms of its relationship with the other parts of the problem. So now we have the whole. The whole is equal to the sum of its parts. So if you want to write it, um, CD above equals GD plus GC. So that's 1.5x plus 3.5 plus 3x plus 7. Combining, what is 1.5x plus 3x? The like terms, Tony? 4.5x. Thank you. And then 3.5 plus 7. Adding these two like terms. 10.5. Good. So go ahead and subtract and divide and tell me what x is. 6x minus 4.5. Is that just six? Yep, I know. They kind of look like B's, and I apologize. So this is 1.5x equals 10.5. When you divide by 1.5, what do we get? Seven. Colton? Seven? Yeah, seven. Uh, record. So x equals seven. 